Hello everyone this is Ultimate Public Entertainment. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Karen Shenanigans. Take a look. You cannot do that. We'll see. You have more time on your hands than anyone I've ever encountered. Not gonna finish? Not gonna finish? Excuse me? I'm telling you, if you end up on Excuse my property, you, if you end up on my property, I will you? defend it. Yes. You're on my property, buddy. No, he's not. I'm not. No, he's look not. At, at you this. haven't even no, proven to me that that's the situation yet. I don't have yet. to prove it. You yes, you do. You have a survey. You have a survey, buddy. So show me your survey. I don't, my survey is out of date. Oh, okay. okay. So well, then it doesn't, you can't, you can't do that. Yeah, you have friends. to get a new it's survey. It's just as much mine as it is yours. You have to get a new survey. You have a survey. No. It doesn't matter if I have a survey. No. You don't have you one. You need one to move the fence. I do not. Yes, yes you, you do. do. No. Yes. No. You can't prove that if you How have are you an out of date survey. Really, lady? And also on top of it, this is going to be this is going to be another court uh, yeah. issue. Yeah. Because, exactly. Because it's been here for how long? Yeah, she doesn't understand that. Long. She doesn't understand you, that. Prove that. It's been modified in the past prove that. 2 years. I will. No, okay. you need to prove it now. Prove it before you move the fence. You can't just move a fence without yeah, asking anyone. You can't do that. Do you remember I tried to talk to you? Can I talk to you? Could you just listen to what I say? And no, you just keep sick calling me. We don't owe you that. I don't owe you any. You haven't left us alone since we moved here. How many times have you called animal control? on the road. How many times have you called animal control? Again, none of your business. I could have called you and said, mind your business. Do you know how many times I'd get a phone call? We obviously do. Because we've been cleared every time you've called. Out on the road. Out lady the they have never so been you on the call road. excuse me what your gates were wide open you so the gates your were... gates are always wide open well, yes they are yes they you are may have these ones blocked but your gate on your road is open just you're the too same. much you never open it. yes it is oh, it oh okay oh, there now, we go see? i got that on, I got, that on i got that on video karen needs to learn to mind her own business and stop harassing her neighbors for real in this next clip you will not believe what this karen went to complain to her neighbor about at 1 30 a.m in the morning take a look One eternity later. Could you possibly turn off the light? Journey, it's 1.30 in the morning. I have to work. You're ringing my doorbell like you're crazy. Yeah, I'm crazy because I am so I'm tired. I'm going to the police because this is 
acceptable. I can't even have my lights on. Those lights aren't bothering nobody. You're no. harassing me. No. They're, I can't sleep because of those lights. That's ridiculous. My lights are below your window. No, you're they're right in my window. Journey the night. If you come over here again, I'm calling the police. You're ringing my doorbell at 1.30. I have to work in three hours. I know, I got my honey, niece over and, here. I, and I am exhausted, and I'm an old lady. Journey, good night. Good night. You over here ringing my... If you don't close my door, I'm calling the cops. I'd I love to have the cops come. Me too. Oh no, mm -mm. if I was that guy that Karen came knocking at my door at around 1.30 a.m. in the morning and I'm supposed to be at work at 4.30, that same morning, hmm, I wonder what I would do. I would probably have the rest home on speed dial to come and have Karen picked up. <laughs> Just say. Up next, we've got drama at Dollar Tree over a return <laughs> you guys have got to see this one take a look how you doing today what's this i'm returning it returning it yes just what i said returning we don't do returns at dollar tree you, you know you mean you don't do returns every other store does returns why don't you do returns we don't do return. But why don't you do return? You're because, not answering my question. Because that's what Dollar Tree. But you're not answering my question. I am answering your question. Dollar Tree policy is you have to do an exchange to get like your money back, if that makes sense. No, it doesn't make sense. It makes a lot of sense. It does not make sense. And we, I need a manager. Manager, you want to explain this stuff? You don't do. Returns. I don't understand what the problem is. Why can't you just explain why you can't return it? But I don't understand. The, I, I still don't understand why your store is the only one that doesn't do returns. Dollar, that's everybody knows that. Okay, well, obviously I don't. So you're gonna have to explain it like Q to Q for me. All right, let me explain it to you in elementary terms. Damn! One plus one. I'm not stupid, so don't talk to me like I'm stupid. No. No. Two. All I'm asking is for you to explain why you can't return it, Miss. I'm not gonna sit here and go back and forth with you. That's just Dollar Tree's policy. And if you can't handle that, you can politely go someplace else where they'll it's make Dollar you happy. Dollar Tree's policy is right here on the receipt. We will gladly exchange any unopened item with original receipt. We do not offer it. I don't like how it's treated at the store. You guys are not treating Well, you me can right. go to another Dollar Tree. Well, that's fine. Give me my stuff back. But you said you wanted to return it. You're not So I'm sense. not going to return it if I'm being treated like this. Thank you. You know what? Less of a customer like you will do better business. Wow. Am I the only one that thinks that that employee was very disrespectful? She didn't have to do all of that. I'm just saying. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Karen calls the cops on three black male at an Airbnb. Take a look at this. Look, bro. Look, I'm tweaking. Yeah, you again, Dorian. Two black males. I don't know who's upstairs. Shorty up here tweaking on the phone, calling the cops, bro. This shit here, bro. It is a secure building. Yeah, I don't know how they got in. Yeah. It's uh, an Airbnb. It's tweaking. Yeah, tweaking. They're wearing black sweatsuits. They're three. They got no shoes on. You know they don't never wear shoes. Look at her feet. No, I can't. I don't see any weapons at this time, but I don't know if they have them. No weapons. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Yo, where's the hey, time time? Seven, six, eight, one, three, 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 eight. Hey, what happened, bro? Hey, what's what tweaking, bro? What's going on, bro? She was waiting for us to come out. What's going on, bro? Yeah, apartment A. What's going on, bro? Apartment weirdos, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you can move outside now. We do what you have to do. Leave it. What's going on, bro? No, it's you're not allowed to make no. Take the. Get the. Touch me. Right now. Touch me. Oh, I'll get my touch. Touch me. Oh, you're going to get your. Yeah, I know. We saw this to the cops when you came. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, he's smart. You need to shut the f***. smart. You need to be quiet. This is my safety. Shut the f***. Shut the f***. This is my safety, bro. Shut the f***. What is that? Shut the f***. Y'all are out of here. Shut the f***. 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 Shut the f***
<laughs> look, she look, look. Try to lock us out of the building, we pay for it. Crazy. Already called the cops, now she trying to put hands on people. And I didn't touch you. Talking about she gonna I get the <laughs> Try to close the door on me. My ankle a little messed up. <laughs> nah, bro, we not doing nothing. I'm getting food. We better go back yeah, up. Yeah, I was calling 344 West Remus, and I just want to make sure the cops are on the way, please. <laughs> Bro, bro, you gotta do this for safety, bro. You see, she's calling the cops. You got something to show. Okay, bye. It's crazy. Y'all. <laughs> Turn the fuck off. I can hear it from here. What the fuck wrong with you? Turn the fuck off. It is after three a.m. You can talk to us nicely. Apparently, when the cops came, Karen got even more aggressive with those three men. I'll keep you updated when I get more information on this case. Please take your time to sit back, relax, and then watch this crazy Karen in the wild. Trust me, you will not regret this. Take a look. Past the sign. Don't even threaten me. Don't right even past threaten the me. sign. Don't even threaten me. It is your husband, your daughter, her husband. Fifteen okay. miles an hour. What do you want to do? Keep talking. What do you want to do? Fifteen miles an hour. I don't want to do nothing. You're the one who's. You're the one who's bringing this on. Bring this on. I'm calling the cops. Call them. You threatening. Leave me alone when I drive through the- And slow down! If you're in such a hurry, why ain't you home then? Fifteen miles an hour! Right on the phone. Let's see, look where you stopped your car. Pass the stop sign. Because it was right in your mouth! Yeah, but you stopped past the stop sign. Have a nice day. Thank you. That's fine. You're not bothering me. You're slowing everybody down. Thank you. I know. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, she's making people stop now. <laughs> Have a nice day. Oh, now she's gonna back up. Here we go. <laughs> oh yeah, I got it on record now. Oh, whatever. <laughs> you can waste your time. I ain't even bothering with you. You're wasting my time. Yeah, I'm mine. You guys waste your own time singing out there telling people what to do. We're not telling you what to do. Manager, We're telling you the law. Apply for, for what? If you want to talk about the law, these stop signs aren't legal. So yes, they are. They're not legal. Yes, they are. They're not, they're not tall enough. They're not Oh, okay, but you see it, you know it's there. Fifteen miles an hour, too. Fifteen miles an hour. Where's your speed radar? They're doing fifteen miles an hour. I know how fast people go. When you couldn't stop till you got past the stop sign, you were going too fast. You were past the stop sign. That's why you blowed on top, you ugly, your trailer looks Hoarders, come on now. <laughs> you like that? Are you upset about it? Are you upset about it? Yeah, till you run somebody over, yes. Sure yeah, oh, there you go. You're on the wrong side of the road then. I don't give a Who's calling the kettle I'll black? I'll park right here. You want to park right <laughs> That's there? fine. Park wherever you want. At least you're not speeding. Stop breaking the law. Slow down. You do not have a <laughs> You're the one who's here. I'm not stopping you. And hey, what you do is considered harassment, just so you know. Mm -hmm. no, I'm you harassing you. At all. You don't work for the park. You don't work for the police department. Where's your speed radar? I don't need a speed radar. I know how fast. You when you can't stop right at the stop right sign. Speed radar. When you can't stop at the stop sign because you're going too fast. Then you're doing more than 15 miles an hour. It's called common sense. Common sense. Common sense. That's who's left. Yeah, look who's talking. Do y'all even have a car to drive? No, I don't. Exactly. I don't. I'm telling people how to drive. What? You broke 
It's great though, ain't it? It's great. I'm controlling everybody's life. That's why the health department got on y'all about y'all patio. Come on now. When was the health department here? Uh, when you had up the drains and your shit was coming out over your casino. No, they didn't come here. Yeah, they were. The health department and don't come in the park. All your business. Everyone knows all your business. Oh, everybody knows my oh, okay. business. Okay. <laughs> I do. Okay. I do. Okay. I know you do. I mean, go ahead. Shut up, brother. That's enough. Every last one of them. They got the right one. Never know what people are going through. That's the thing. Yeah, shake your head. It's funny, right? Yeah, it is. It's funny. Right? It is. Doctor it's great. Got to there, mind. Baby, like something just happened to mine, right? Then maybe you would be in a rush to get somewhere, and somebody would tell you to. That's what the sign means. Huh? That's what the sign means. You got to slow down. Yeah, yeah. That sign. Don't I know it don't. Till you run one of them over, it don't matter. Maybe just Saturday, and you are. Then you need to slow road. down so you don't. Somebody don't else. Let this stop sign. See, look at this one. That's me. Stop. Nice stop. Okay, God. Now we all can fight. That's fine. We all can fight. What do you want to do? Because I love everybody. No. Nowadays, it's what you choose to be. That's a God. That's a God. Walmart employee. Like, what did you do for a living? What? Watch. Slow down. Slow down. <laughs> nice stop. Get him. Get him. Why he stopped? Slow down. He said everyone goes too fast. Stand right here, say everyone goes too fast. Slow down. Exactly. But he stops now. He stops now, though, too. I don't give a fuck. Stop saying it's legal. I'll stop it. Okay? Then do it. Then do it. And I'll do what I'm going to do every time you do it. To make that stop sign legal. You don't want to stop at a stop sign. That's fine. But I'm still going to do what I'm going to do. That's all I'm going to do. Be for real. You know it's not. You Then don't stop if you don't like it. I'm still going to stop. That's my point. Don't say nothing to me. I'm going to if you run a stop sign. You're not the police. Don't you know how to read? See, it says stop, not slightly tap on stop pedal. Go by your radar so you can get my speed right now. I don't need to. I got you stopped. Huh? You're stopped. I got you to stop. All day and, go back and, forth with you all day. and I got you to stop, so that worked. I love this. I'm glad because I got you to stop. I'll blow this stop sign every day. No, you won't. No, every you won't. Day. No, you won't. Every single day. Who's to say I won't? If I'm telling you, I will slap. You and your wife, you think I won't run that stop sign? You ain't gonna run that stop sign. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Whatever. And I bet you I'll run the stop sign. You ain't gonna run that stop sign. Old, ignorant. How about that? You're a, your wife's a, your daughter, a, her husband. A, now, how about that? And then someone come to And you me. still stop at the stop sign. Good job. Good. Thank you. That? You got stopped. Thank you. This Karen is a perfect example of a clueless and entitled Karen who thinks that her action is justified. What is this world coming to? Unbelievable. You all won't believe this. This manager told a couple of black customers at his restaurant to leave because they had shorts on. But he didn't tell others to leave. Take a look. 
You can see it right there, sir. It's written. So you don't want to see it no more? Sure. It is right there, the dress code, okay? They Thank you. my friend Dominique can't Thank wear you. shorts, but there's people in here with shorts on. Right here? <laughs> we can't wear shorts, but <laughs> but we got people in here with shorts on in 98 degree with what what's the weather right now? I came here before though. I don't understand what the issue is. Let's, let's find out what the weather is. Because we got people in here with shorts on. It's 91 degrees out. But we can't have shorts on. It was no issue before Dominique walked in with these shorts on. <laughs> It was it was all good just a, just a week ago. Come on, bro. I'm waiting till this woman come out. But we gonna find somewhere to eat. Don't worry about. It. But they finna go viral though. Hey, y'all finna go viral, bro. Get excited. Yeah, yeah. Now nah, we doing this. Yeah, <laughs> don't be excited. Cause I have. Hold on, Dominique. Hold on. We gonna wait till friend come out. Cause friend got shorts on. Frank got shorts on. Oh, God forbid. Oh, Frank got shorts on. Oh, no issues, no problems. So, what's your name? Excuse me, sir. What's your name? Is that, that's your name? Is that how you treat all your customers? Do you not give them your name? Are you the manager here? I'm just asking. Are you the manager here? Really? She was like, oh my God. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just so we know what's going on. I don't want to alarm anyone. We're being asked to leave because my friend has shorts on. I have shorts on. They have shorts on, but there's no issue here. You guys aren't going viral. This place will be. So I sincerely apologize about that because this is happening. Okay. So, sir, can I get your name before we leave? Is that a no? We're being asked to leave because we have shorts on. Yeah, everyone's thighs are out today, but apparently it, this is a problem for them. This is just too much. It's over the top. So that, that's the issue we're having. Yeah, so apologize for interrupting you guys' brunch. It just had to be said. I'm so sorry. I, it just had to be said. Can, can, shall we? Shall we? Shall we, take, sh sh shall we take our business somewhere else? I don't Thank you guys. Sorry about that, guys. Enjoy your, your afternoon. I'm so sorry about that. Sorry, I can't get your name for real? <laughs> No, I, I, bro, you're so professional. <laughs> Lock the door because they're they're storming the Capitol. This guy. <laughs> no, bro, I gotta go back in there because I've got my bag. Your bag? Yo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, bro, this is happening, bro. Bro, it don't. It don't matter. That's what I'm saying. So, <laughs> you bad, <mad>, bro. <laughs> you bad, bro. Oh, man, bro. You done brought me to this place. We finna go viral, fool. What happened? Like, bro, what happened before I got here? Look, literally nothing. Nothing happened before you got here. No, bro, for real. <laughs> yes, bro, nothing happened before you got here, bro. You can't, nobody, you can't be out here like this. What is wrong with you, I think it's great if a restaurant has a dress code, but I also believe that the same dress code should apply to everyone that comes into the restaurant. In this next clip, we've got a property manager, Karen, on a power trip. Take a look at this drama. Katrina, why isn't my AC working out? I don't know. You can call maintenance back over there and check it. Yeah, I have no update, Katrina. I have a daughter. You you guys must not care. Like you, I said, you, if you want to move out, you're welcome to. That's not my quit. point. You guys should be fixing it. You guys yeah. should be fixing it. I get that. And if it's not working now, I can send them back over. I don't know until I talk well, to you. I mean, you guys don't communicate. It's been nine days. Does he not update no, you? No, we've been communicating with you all. You, you days. are lying. You are no, lying. No, I've been communicating with get you. Get out of the office. Go. Why? Go. Call because the cops. You're... No, get out. Get out of the office. Why? Because you're being very disrespectful. Nine days. I have. Which is fine. You can record. I've you had, had nine days. You're not going to scream at me. 
Could you go over there and check her AC, please? She is still throwing up her lungs. Sir, can, can, can I talk to you? What's wrong with my AC? I want to know what's wrong with I'll, it. That's... Go, you can go. No, sir. Yeah, we'll go with you. No, no, no. I'm, yes, I'm we'll go with here. you. Oh, you're you yelling. Come. So you're you yelling back yes, at me. You you're yelling come back at me. That's right. I am yelling back at you. Nine days. Nine days. I told you, he will come check it. But you, you can't get in here. You've been telling me that. And you're only acting like this because you have your phone. Normally, I'm in here all acting up. Nice. Yes, you do. I've been nice about it. I've been nice about it. About it. And I can't, no. I can't even get you guys to fix it. It's He's been gonna nine go over there and check it. So He's what's wrong with works. it? What's wrong with it? What? What's no, why? Just has, why hasn't been there, nine he'll days? Tell you when he goes no, over he can. He can. He speak, can show you. He can speak because to you me keep himself. flipping. Okay, you keep flipping on your AC, so you're making it. I have not. Yes, you have. Yes, I have no, not. Yes, you have. I have we not told messed you with it. We let it go so we can get it. I have not messed with it. You cannot tell me. Let me finish talking. Okay. Number one, we told you stop turning it on because you keep freezing it over. It's been on. Well, you guys have not been in there then because I haven't no, touched it. No, we have. It. He's been over there every you guys single have day not and you're not even there. You're lying. He's been there every... No, that because is not I true. Work. Because I work. Because I work. Okay, you need to go. And I've been He's telling gonna you. He's going to be there with you to help you. Sir, yeah. what's wrong no, with the AC? There has to be something going. wrong with it. You can go. I'm, I'm talking office. nice. I'm talking nice. You can get nice. out of the office now. Yeah, because I bet it's an issue, right? No. It's an issue now. No, you're an issue. I am not an issue. Yes, this you apartment are. is an issue. Then get out. I told you you can move. No, I told that's you not you the thing. Move. You'd rather that's me move. That's the issue. You're welcome you to move. You would rather me yes. move than because for your guys to happy. fix it. I am not happy. happy. You keep coming into my office. Because you guys should be fixed it for Stop nine talking days talking of over heat. Me. Okay. Of you 91 degrees. 91 degrees. 90 degrees. No, this is the first day. All right. Call the cops. Call the cops. Perfect. Sir, can you please just answer me? I want to know why it's been He's on for days. It's you under my office. You need to just, I just want to know why. And he can why. show you. He I can just show you that it's frozen. No, he can't tell me. Keep turning it. No. I don't you even touch it. Office, I don't touch it. You. Sir, please. No. I just want to know why. Uh, then don't worry about it. Go ahead. Don't just, don't I want to know why because it's been nine days. No, you can get on the office. You're the maintenance. You're the maintenance. Just go. Don't worry about it. Just go. Don't even do her receipt. See? Thank you. I got that. All I needed you guys was to fix it, and you said don't do my AC. Right now, Thank because you. you're making up. Thank you, Katrina. You're no, welcome. this is the I'm first you're day. Nine days. You're because you would rather me move. Can't make you happy. No, <laughs> AC. So you're not happy. An accommodation I'm of an really AC. Really happy. Of an AC. Who would, would be happy? Who would be happy with? Well, fix Oh my goodness. Mind you, this incident happened in San Antonio, Texas. Nine good days without AC. In this hot summer, it's obvious that the property manager doesn't care. Ridiculous. In this next clip, We've got a parking lot police Karen working for free as usual. Take a look at this. Ask him. You're not you mass park in the parking lot. You are not going to own this building. You have to own it. Okay. Are you crazy? No, you are You're getting in my face. Okay. I tell you, you're not the owner of this building. Yeah. Well, you know what? You cannot take in my place. I work here. You don't have to. I can park in here. For no, I see you on the yeah. on the. I, I see you on the window. Yeah. You take you well, take a picture of my car. Can I? You not can take a picture of my car. Yep. One eternity later. Oh. 
don't get away in Mexico. Here we go. This is what this man is doing. There is a parking car, there is a car parked in this parking lot that does not have a Brookfield vehicle sticker. It is stated that any car that parks in this vehicle lot, in this Brookfield lot, should have a vehicle sticker and also a parking sticker. It's so sad that these Karens cannot mind their own business. They tend to have 911 on speed dial. They love to tell people what to do or tell them what the rules are. Oh boy, we've got drama between a constable and an officer. Whose side are you on on this one? Please take a look. Listen, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Hey. You don't touch me. I'm the constable of Santa Santa. You see, you see this? You see what? Put me down on my face. Put me down on my face. You touch me down. I'll put you down on your. Okay, you call me your supervisor, put, please. Call your supervisor. I, I am the I'm constable. Gonna I'm going to show him what you just did. I'm going to show him when you, you walk up on me, too. I walked up on you? Yes, you did. I walked up on you. You see my arm? Telling you to move back? I am the constable. Okay. You don't give me orders. I'm not going to argue with she you. She has a stay. She doesn't. Did you this find is it? an occupant. She doesn't even live here. Did, did you understand? Right. She has a stay. But you don't understand. She's she has an a occupant. No, she's not. I ain't going to no, argue with you. No, she's not. I'm not going to argue you. You don't have to argue. You should get yeah. on the property. No, I don't have to do anything. I'm the constable. Okay. This is my job, not okay. yours. I'm done talking to you. When do you get yourself? I'm, telling, I'm you done get, talking to you. You are a police officer. I'm done talking to you. You're not even a constable. A judge has already given authority to any officer to respond to this to affect the It's not any officer. It's not any officer. Okay. It's I a, got the judge back no, at me, so I hope you're ready for it. I hope you're ready for it. I'm not worried about anything. Let me call Mark. Call yeah. Mark. Y'all want to, y'all want to, y'all want to, come on. I'm ready for you. You put your hands on me, boy. Yeah, I did, girl. I ain't your girl, yeah. boy. You see that? That's true. I'm not hey, your girl. You touch me one more time. I watch you you, touch me one you more are not time. allowed you to arrest out. me. You touch me one more time. You are not I allowed to arrest, arrest me. Hey, watch it, girl. You can affect Watch. Touch me one more time. You can affect Close that gap one more time. Close the gap one more time. I guess we might. Stupid. All right. I need you to step off the rug. I know you don't need me to step off my way. You. You. Don't put your hands on me, you. man. Don't put your hands don't on put me. Don't put your hands on I'm me. I'm the constable. I have a. You are a here. constable. You I are not the constable. I am the constable. You step out that what way. The stupid. Right? Stupid. The constable act like this. Don't know language you're using. Uh, I need you to move. I need you to move. I need you to move. I have authority here. Okay. I need you to move. I need you to move. I am my authority is above your authority. Move. Where's your where's your con where's your chart thing? B seven. What's it forty two? What's it forty two? Seven four two, no. yes sir. Seven four two, right? Oh my god. Yeah. She hey, when the judge see it, it's not gonna help. I don't care. I'm yeah. going to Right. Craig. They're trying to put the girl out, and this poor officer put his hands on me. He put his hands on me. He thinks I'm a deputy. Yeah. He's a damn. Yeah, I work, you know, I put it on the tape. tape. Put it on the tape. Let hey, everybody see it. You are not going to put this girl this. out. You have no authority yeah. to serve this warrant. When the judge calls you, you and from? tells you that. I don't you, obey you the don't, judge. How don't you when they give I you your authority? I am. She don't give me my authority. Shut your mother. Right. Yeah. <laughs> could you, wait, could you send my boys over here, Craig? Call Davenport, send the call everybody and come over here. Hey, I'll call okay. Forstall himself. Tell, tell everybody to come. Tell Mark, Mark, everybody. Uh, 942, 942. 742. Oh, sorry, 7? 7? 742 North Grant. Mm -hmm. 742 North Grant. I can't wait till you see this one. Stole the Moore property. I'm here to tell you. What company do y'all represent? If she was here last time, don't she know about you? You know who the hell I am, yeah. boy. You're about to lose she your she, damn job. I bet you I won't. You're about to lose I your job. Yes, you are. I bet you yes, I won't. you are. You put your okay. hand on the officer. I'm an officer. I am an officer. I am the constable. Okay. Stupid. Right. And when I show them this video, I don't give I hope, a. I hope you got I enough don't for give a good. I'm, I'm defending that I'm little girl and her children. She was not threatened. You, know? you are the threat. I would threaten you because yeah. that's my job. No.
No, that what you I did am was the not the job. What you I am the constable. Please articulate what you did being you know your job I mean? when they watch this video. Y'all are trying to put out a woman of four Ooh. children. She has a state. What is this? Yeah. She has filed this piece of paper, okay? This Maybe is the person that to it. get off a of property. She's not the person that was evicted from the she property. She is the person who's doing the stay. You not listening? Yo, you lose your law degree a long time ago. I don't have a law okay. degree. Don't need one. Hey, I'm Fred, call sure everybody. Call my boys. Please call yeah, them. Yeah, when they come, you put your hands on me when they come. And what they gonna do to me? Beat your ass. I want them to try. Okay. You are I not put, you're try. not putting her out. No. Nope. I want them to try. Not putting her out. Not today. Not today. Yeah. You already came and stole her puppy. According to news reports, Apparently, the judge never ordered the stay. Therefore, the constable was ordered into court to answer for interfering with the evictions. Wow. Wait a minute. Is there anything like a no solicitating neighborhood? Take a look at this. You stalking me? Excuse me? You stalking me? Am I stalking you? Yeah, you're following behind me. This is my neighborhood. I'm yeah, on the board. You. Awesome. Where do you live? I live uh, right across the street over there. Uh, which street? Yeah, it's just uh, Homestead. No, there's, there's no Homestead. Homestead. Yeah, it's right over there. No, it's not. It's not Homestead. Yeah. No, it's not. I mean, it's not this neighborhood, but it's over in that direction. Okay, well, this neighborhood is not your neighborhood. This is a no solicitation neighborhood. I gotcha. Yeah. Do you need a ride out of here? Yeah. Okay, police have been called. I'd advise you to leave. Okay. They're just going to tell me the same thing. Well, you're not welcome here. You've been told. You've been it's informed. It's just that everyone's getting these bugs, and we yeah, just no. it's just not acceptable that, to us. You're not acceptable to us. You need to leave. Is it because we do such a good job you guys might be unemployed if you guys you know, are out of business getting rid of the I, bugs? I, I don't. My job is not getting rid of, of bugs. My job is getting rid of pests, which right now is you. Well, I mean, this lady, she's not even home, but she has a ton of spider webs up there and the ants, too. That's fantastic, but so you're not, not welcome to be here. It's not good, dude. You're not welcome to be here. Okay. I'd appreciate if you didn't follow behind me. I don't want to get I'd appreciate if you leave the neighborhood like you've been asked to do. Yeah, but you guys... No, like, do you know, no solicitation means no solicitation. Yeah. And, and, you, and you don't care, right? I mean, we, we go to a lot of... No, no, not here. we. You. Do you care? Sir, I'm just trying to fill my pocket no. so that I can feed my children. Yeah, no, I do you care? I care about my children. Are you yes. are you are you are you ignoring the fact that you've been asked to leave that this is a no solicitation neighborhood? Are you ignoring I, that? I'm just trying to take care of people's bugs. You obviously hear me. Yeah. You're, you're ignoring it and and you're unwilling to leave, which is trespassing. So uh, you're 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 admitting to trespassing. I wouldn't say that. Well, what are you doing? I'm walking around trying to see if people want to have a You've been service. asked to leave. We give a really good deal. You've been uh, asked to leave. We do a really good job. We have a hybrid service. Have you ever heard of it? I'm, I'm here representing Hawks. Yep. All right. They put me here. All right. I'm asking you to leave. I will be in contact with Hawks tomorrow. Okay. And I'm just asking you to leave. They're not going to Police have been anything. actually called, so I'm not, they, not They have about way that. more important things to worry about than some guy trying to sell pest control. Well, I'm not the one who called them. And I don't think there's just one, okay. but you've been asked to leave right. and you hear me Yeah. and you refuse. Dude, I'm are, just trying to make a living out here. Yeah, I understand. Are, are you leaving though is the question. I will leave after I talk to these people. So that's enough. I will you'll leave, leave eventually. You'll leave when you choose to, which is trespassing. Unless the cop comes and asks me to leave. Okay. All right. I think we've, we've probably said all we're going to say. Okay. You have a blessed day, sir. Thanks. You too. I appreciate it. Imagine after all that drama, what exactly did this guy accomplish for doing what he did? I guess absolutely nothing. Unbelievable. This woman, whose real name is Karen, was caught messing with the wrong people. Take a look at this.
you have to get my damn nerve. I'm just trying to you say. You don't have to they get don't pick at my business. business. I'm going to report you to the office. Every time somebody come out here harassing everybody okay. around here. You, keep, you is a Karen. You don't messed worry, with I've the person about beefing this car. I've never I'm talking about you swore. I've never spoken to you Every time that you complain. You a complain about somebody beeping their car. Trying to we lock that to car door. From the office. Trying to lock that wrong. car door. Something wrong with you, lady. Okay, and yeah, you don't yeah. even pick up your dog poop. Walking that big dog. Walking that walking that big there. dog. And pick I your dog up when he poop. Karen. How about that? Walking that big dog and you don't pick up his dog doo doo. Kind of dog poop and bag. How about that? So nobody won't step in when it walks. Walk in the neighborhood and your dog pooping everywhere and you don't pick up dog poop. <laughs> now that's a good one. I'm sure Karen learned a lesson. Never to meddle in other people's business next time. Finally, on this episode of Karen Shenanigans, we've got a Karen in the wild. Doing exactly what she knows how to do best. Take a look. <laughs> Karen! <laughs> Karen! <laughs> oh, Karen! Bro, what the f? Karen? I never experienced. <laughs> if you watched this video to the end, Please do not forget to indicate in the comment section. Now, that was wild, Karen. Emotional, damn it! Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.